What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about the Hot Wave R7 Rugged Tablet. Really excited to get into this one. And I want to thank them for sponsoring this and sending this out to us. Um, so here we have the 6 gig of RAM, a 256GB model here. We do have also octa-core processor, 10.1 inch display, 15,600 uh, milliamp hour battery. And we do have Android 13 out of the box. Alright, let's pop this off. So I'll set to the side. It looks like we got a screen protector built, I mean, right in the box, which is really nice. That's pretty cool. And also, guys, check out and use my code if you guys are interested. I will put it in the description. All right, here's the tablet here. Let's get this off and check out the back. Really nice. really really sturdy not too heavy not as heavy as I thought it would be nice little orange accents here we'll get to that in a little bit though alright so we got some tools here for the bracket these are supposed to go on the back for the strap and I'll show you guys exactly how that goes on it's very easy and then we also have USB type C and then a type C to type C cable and then we also have our charging brick as well. And that's pretty much it here. And this is also our strap. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the hardware here. We got a texture power button. We got our speakers, volume rockers, of course, our cameras, and then on the side here we do have our SD card support and then also our USB type C this is water resistant guys so you know obviously it's a rugged tablet so you can get this thing wet you can really uh, you know beat it up a little bit and drop it or whatever and it'll be just fine these are really advertised towards you know people who do a lot of outdoor stuff and you know you're gonna be maybe in the mud rain stuff like that this is something you don't have to worry about breaking Alright guys, we're all booted up and I wanted to talk about the display on here. So it's a pretty big display here at 10.1 inches. And yeah, I really like the screen. It's a pretty high quality panel for the most part. It's not getting any uh, type of washout or anything like that. It is a uh, HD display. It is a 1280 by 800 resolution, 16 by 10 aspect ratio as well. And overall, I have no issues with the screen. The touch screen is also very responsive um, as well, which is really nice. And whether you're watching, you know, movies or, you know, a YouTube video or whatever, uh, you're going to get a pretty nice picture uh, for the most part, as you guys can see. So the display on here is pretty nice. Now, one of the things I liked about this tablet in particular is that the software is pretty much stock Android. So you have your Google Now page over here as well, too, for your latest news updates. And it's really, really smooth for the most part. And like I said, it's pretty much bare bones Android here. SIM card settings as well, if I forgot to tell you guys that, you can hook your uh, data up to this as well too, which is really nice. And I just like how everything is just very plain and simple stock uh, Android for the most part here for the experience. Now as far as the gaming performance on here, I've had a pretty good time uh, playing games on this tablet for the most part. Um, it's been a pretty good experience here. And I don't think you're going to have any issue with gaming on here. So. You know, if you're somebody that wants to do a little bit of casual gaming, this is perfectly fine for the most part. You guys can see it's handling Need for Speed pretty well. And like I said, it does have an octa-core processor. You can also put um, 6 gigs of uh, virtual memory on here as well, too, if you need a little bit more uh, RAM. But so far, I'm really liking the gaming performance. I don't see anything really wrong with it. I don't see any major FPS. Uh, hiccups and stuff like that and again this does also translate to web browsing as well too which I think is extremely important for a tablet uh, because that is what you're going to be doing you know for the majority of time on these tablets a lot of people like to use the web browser uh, not only you know just to browse the web but for the full desktop experience as well too which you can uh, pull up here on these tablets so just in case you want the full like desktop experience on a tablet then that's something that you know I really appreciate for tablets and also I want to talk about 
uh, the software a little bit more here. So this phone comes with a tool bag, which is really nice because this plays into the sort of outdoor mode. And not only that, but this is a feature that actually a lot of people have is the FM radio, um, which you need to have your headphones in, but that is on here as well too. All right, so let's talk about the tool bag. So you do have the sound meter on here, the pick hanging on here, the magnifier is on here. You have a built-in protractor um, as well too. So a lot of useful stuff um, on here as well. As you can see. And then this is the mirror alarm bell is on here as well. So just a lot of nice little handy tools I noticed uh, with the software here. Let's check out the speakers max volume. We do have dual speakers on here. So you guys can hear the speaker quality is pretty good. We get a pretty decent sound out of these speakers. All right, so I want to talk about the straps on the back. So once you put the brackets on here, um, as you can see, they just kind of stick on there. You just peel them like that. And then you can kind of carry it around and it makes for like an easier grip. So if you're outdoors or something like that, you don't really have to, you know, kind of carry it in an awkward way. And it does kind of help a little bit with the weight, I think as well too. Alright, so let's talk about the cameras. So I know most people aren't going to be taking pictures, you know, with a you know tablet for the most part, but this is pretty good for taking pictures of documents and stuff like that. Like I said, you have two 16 megapixel uh, cameras on here. And also if I go ahead and show you guys the modes, you have your pro mode as well too on here. Video, time lapse, more, QR code scanner. But like I said, this is pretty much for people who you know, you need to take a document, sign a document on your tablet or whatever. Um, but I did take a couple photos. The cameras are okay for the most part. Um, like I said, the videos seem to be, you know, kind of okay. Also, picture quality is pretty actually decent and in good lighting. I was actually kind of surprised. I got a, a pretty usable shot uh, for the most part here. Uh, but, yeah, the pictures are just fine if you need to just snap, snap a quick photo of something. You guys can see it'll come out decent for the most part. So you do have pretty good, you know, decent cameras on here. All right, guys, lastly, let's take a look at battery life here. This is probably the number one thing about this tablet is the battery life is crazy on this thing. You will rarely have to think about charging a tablet this size. Like I said, 15,600 milliamp hour battery on here. You get 900 hours of standby time. Uh, which is insane. You also get 20 hours of uh, calling, 20 hours of music, 18 hours of straight video playback as well too, and 18 hours of straight gaming. So if you wanted to game, uh, you can play all day pretty much and not really have to worry about running to the charger. And um, yeah, that's I, I think that's one of my favorite thing about these really big rugged tablets is that they put such massive batteries in here. Uh, you can just, you don't have to think about charging, you just get on it do whatever you're gonna do and it's all good um so yeah I really enjoy my experience with this tablet for the most part like I said it's a pretty fast tablet as well too uh, I do like this that the software is pretty clean as well too and I think it's supposed I think it does exactly what it's supposed to do web browsing gaming it does it all really well like I said IP68 and you also have the IP69K and then you can also have it uh, it, it is rated drop proof, so 1.5 millimeters onto concrete as well too. And um, yeah, so pretty good experience so far. If you're looking for a rugged tablet, be sure to hit up the description uh, down below. Very good quality for the most part. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.